Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Smart Trader. This is Diaspol, and thank you so much for all your likes, love, and all your support. And if you are a new viewer, definitely go to our video section and watch all the videos. And if you're liking those videos only, hit the subscribe button to be a part of this big family. For the ones who wants additional services, you can always WhatsApp seven eight nine two six five two four eight one is the number. For the ones who wants to be part of my secret Telegram channel, or if you want a DMAT account, you can open in zero the upstock and angel broking any one of these and be part of my secret Telegram channel. So without wasting time, let's start off with today's topic. So today's topic is going to be regarding a technical analysis concept, okay? And it's going to be a technical indicator. What is the indicator name? Moving averages. So you would have heard moving averages many times. Basically, simple moving average, exponential moving average. That SMA, EMA. You would have seen many traders using all this. So today we will discuss so that a lot of beginners will understand the basic meaning of this, and let's try to see some practical of it. So I'll try to give you example of simple and exponential moving average because these are the most used among all other moving averages. So now example of a simple moving average. Now let's take, I've just taken an example of number of days. Let's say this is some days, okay. So I've just given the example here, like example 11th May. Let's imagine today is 11th and 10th and 9th and 8th. Same way, let's imagine like this, okay. So let's say the price, stock prices, okay, stock prices, 101, 103 rupees and it closed at 104, it closed at 100 rupees. So let's say roughly I just calculated 408 is our total and then we will divide number of days, 1, 2, 3, 4. So divided by 4, 102 is my rough average. So this is my simple moving average. You know, even in cricket, let's say Virat Kohli is playing matches, he will have a batting average of let's say 60 runs, right? So that means almost in every matches he is hitting 60 average. So the more the better average, it is better, right? So same way, simple moving average is simple calculations divided by number of periods. In this four periods, it can be 10 periods, it can be 100 or it can be 200, okay? So divided by that number. Now exponential, how is it different from simple? Now in this exponential moving average, EMA, Let's say the calculation is same, 101, 103, 104, 100, and total is 408, but they will not divide it by 4, okay? They will not do equal div division. They will give importance to the latest number. Now, let's say 11th is the latest stock price movement, right? So, highest weightage for this, second highest, third highest, fourth highest. So, first importance to this, second importance, third importance, fourth importance, and so on. So, weightage is more to the latest value, okay? So, if Virat Kohli is hitting in the previous match 100 runs, and in past 20th match hit only 20 runs okay his form is decided by his recent match if yesterday's match he has hit 100 then today we are expecting him to play really well rather than if he is hitting in the last 20th match like previous 20th match 100 and yesterday's match only 10 runs so we will consider okay Virat Kohli's form is not that good so same way exponential moving average they will give weightage for the latest date okay so this is the imagine this is the latest date so we are giving importance to this first second third and so on so that is the difference between exponential moving average and simple moving average and more of the traders will give more uh, importance to, importance to this exponential moving average because of this criteria what i told you logic more importance and weightage is given to the recent price so that will help us to know that stock is moving well not not moving well and all those things okay so now let's try to see an example in the chart so I'll just open a stock, let's say Reliance, always favorite examples. Okay, so let's keep one day as an uh, example. So you can put any time. So for example, intraday, you may put one minute. Let's say for long term trading, you may put one day, one week and so on. I'll tell you about it. So I'm just putting roughly like this and let's put moving average. So in studies, just type moving average, it'll come. So here you have the period. So this is not days or minutes. So whatever, if you put here a day, it is 50 day. If you put minutes, 50 minutes, okay, multiply. So, so much of periods it will consider. Now, anyways, this is close. So, it is calculated the close price of every day. So, that you leave. Over here, you have simple and exponential. Now, I'll show you the difference between both. So, let's put a simple one only, okay. Let's say this red color, 50 days, done. Same thing, let's try to put exponential for this one. And let's say this is which color? This is a green color, okay. So I'm giving done. So now you see here both are 50 days, but there is a difference between this and this, right? So this is 50 days uh, 
exponential and this is simple okay so simple and exponential so there is a difference in movement okay there is a difference in this averages that's what i told you in the logic what we calculated so anyways so now this is how it looks now for example if you want to change you can change if you want to put let's say 100 200 so they use 200 they may use shorter period let's say 20 10 and all those okay so you can keep adding so now few logics i want to say so most of the traders use this particular 200 so if you're putting 200 they consider it as a long term average okay so it will not be like too much of fluctuation it may go a little bit slow it will not take all the noises it will just go like overall average 200 means is a long term average okay so 500 and 100 is somewhere around medium term you can name it or let's say 10 and 20 period is somewhere short term period okay so now in intraday like i told you you can put minutes let's say 10 minutes 50 minutes 200 minutes or let's say long term traders or investors will take day or week so let's say 10 days 50 days 200 days like that so based on what you are trading you can change the time frame of the chart but these numbers will predict like long term medium short term and so on all right so now there are example of uses that you can use it in two ways one is price above and below remember i'll just show you example one is crossover of moving averages okay so price above and below what is this now let's say i'll just uh, clear all this delete or let's say i'm deleting this now let's say rough example whichever average this is now let's say this 50 ema okay you can see that okay 50 ma so we will take examples of exponential which is most used by traders now whenever a crossover happens like this okay now basically your moving averages will tell you the trend okay and remember this is the lagging lagging indicator that means after the price movement is done your fluctuations will be seen okay after the price movements are done there will be a so it is late okay always understand this moving average is little bit late so it's not a leading it doesn't go in the front you can't predict the future it is example of what happened and it will calculate the averages so it's a late process so now for example just an example how people take advantages they will consider this as a support line and it the support line broke and then the price is down so somewhere downtrend okay one is downtrend another is they're trying to sell the trade okay it is staying below and it has come down now you see reliance has broken this average right 50 days average let's say and it has gone above so somewhere it is uptrend currently it is an uptrend in reliance so one day candle so for a shorter period of time reliance is in uptrend so whenever the price is below they will say downtrend when price is above they will say uptrend based on the time frame now for example here uh, what i have given is 50 so if you let's say if it is 200 so long term for long term let's predict so this is how the average looks like for long term so whenever crossovers happen they are saying it's like it is uptrend here it is a downtrend here now it is again gone to uptrend okay so like this this is the example what i told you you can use like price above and below the concept now next is what is crossover of moving average that means you can use two moving averages if crossover happens okay then you can try to see like a signal or trend now let's see an example now let's say this is what 50 ema right so now let's say let me put a little more faster ema uh, let's say we'll go for 10 or 20 let's say 20 which color let's say we are putting blue color okay and this should be exponential because i use first one also exponential so i'm using this so somewhere crossovers now i know there was a virus coronavirus and all those things and technicals will fail and all that so still you can see an example now when the trend changed see it was an uptrend so this was my 50 so this is 50 moving average this is 20 so your shorter this is your shorter and this is your longer comparatively now so your shorter whenever it crosses okay so that means it is an uptrend and when a short your uh, moving average shorter moving average of 20 crosses below this is what a downtrend in reliance all right so now again you see recently there is a crossover i know there is a lag over here but still this is a crossover over here so there is some advantage now i think this is not 50 this is 200 so this is something long term period now let me try to put 50 and see all right so this is how 50 looks like which is little more faster compared to long term what we did 
see now here there was an uptrend and the trend goes on the blue line is 20 so shorter period then you see a crossover happened here so now let's say we are taking a sell or considering a downtrend as per technical analysis and it came till down and now recently if you see there was a crossover here so uptrend has started right uptrend over here so it can go up now you can use also 200 ma to know overall where my average is so after some time if he is doing correction he can reach to 200 or let's say if he is going down when there is a correction he can reach up to his 200 at least so if you're taking a position down 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 at least till your average of 200 you can take advantage so there are different ways how you can use moving average remember using only one technical indicator will not help you yes moving and using this moving averages along with let's say you're using rsi or using macd or using any other indicator that will give you better results so moving average is used by most of the traders to understand what are the averages how it is performing is it deviated too much so that now my risk is higher now let's say if i'm going to buy here considering lines is going up now let's say as per technical if it's coming down this much is my stop loss so i should be very careful my risk is higher rather than i would have taken in the lower levels until unless it crossed my averages so there are different ways you can use in this example of crossover as buy and this crossover as sell or let's say if you're putting shorter time frame basically it will help you more in intraday now for example in intraday trading now here you got a signal in buy so somewhere here you did a buy same way uh, there was a crossover over let's say it's here right so here is a sell so it is still going down still now there is no crossover so there are different signals over here so over here only you got a morning uh, sell over here buy over here sell over here and the trend is still going on so this is how you can use change your time frames and based on intraday or long term or short term you can use moving averages very beautifully. So hope I explained you the logic of how to use them and what are the different periods you can use to experiment different time frames and all those and the logic how it is calculated. So thank you so much start using this always paper trade don't do trading based on what you learn from everywhere like always still do paper trading for months together to get a proper confidence when you see results in your own eyes that is when you will use it so thank you so much hit that like button and also subscribe and share see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye